My name is Lavelle White. I'm a community activist, documentary filmmaker, and community outreach specialist in the mayor's office for safe and healthy neighborhoods. I was raised in the Smoketown community in Shepherd Square and the um, East End of downtown Louisville. I grew up in the uh, housing projects of Shepherd Square where I was raised by my mother, Paula White, in a single family income and with me and my brother. When I graduated high school, I went to college and I, that's why I majored in uh, telev television production and mass communications. I wanted to tell stories and um, be a journalist. I wasn't the best writer at the time, so I picked up the camera and that's the way I wanted to tell the stories and about culture, issues, and community. I was a um, communications major and a Pan-African Studies minor at University of Louisville. And so that's how I began to get this passion of wanting to give back to community, wanting to protest, to fight for people, different voices and issues and um, causes that really resonates with um, poor, underserved people like myself. My very first film was in 2007. It was called Don't Fall for the Okie Doke. It was an SCD prevention video. And then my uh, second documentary was called Young Black Voter from Hinton Licks to Casting Ballads One Man Story. It was about my personal journey and growth while I was at the University of Louisville. I produced a documentary called More Than Bricks and Mortar, The Shepherd Square Story. From 2011, 2012, I was just shooting, shooting, shooting in Shepherd Square, filming interviews, filming the neighborhood, filming the bricks, filming the experience of what that neighborhood was about to go through before it was starting to get torn down and get revitalized. I had um, got in contact with a friend that I was working in the Louisville community, and he wanted me to come and film a concert at Cole's Place during the Derby, and then I was gonna get to work with Master P. His family was taken in after Katrina. So um, after he had came, in, two, in May of 2013, we stayed in contact with him. And then he we ended up talking over the phone and stuff. So we announced in that summer um, of 2000, 2013, Master P was gonna work with me, Christopher 2X, um, and on a documentary called Cradle to the Streets, uh, Young Guns featuring Master P. I wasn't getting paid that much money though, so I was sleeping on couch surfing, living with my brother and stuff, going through a uh, series of uh, misfortune, unfortunate events, uh, breakups and everything. I was couch surfing, um, living in my truck and stuff at times. So I got away from filmmaking for a while. So after I got through creating the Morning Bricks and Mortar series, I had formed a uh, relationship with Mayor Greg Fisher. He came out and spoke at my premiere, and I started talking to him and stuff. But then the uh, event had taken place in 2012. It was a violent homicide at West, in the West Louisville uh, Parkland neighborhood, and I was appointed to the uh, Mayor's uh, West Violence Prevention Work Group. But then I got hired into the Office for Safe and Healthy Neighborhoods as a community outreach specialist. Right now I'm working on the Beach to Terror story. It's about the revitalization of the Russell neighborhood and the tear down the Beach to Terrace neighborhood. It was a neighborhood created in 1949 into existence in 2019. During the capturing of the Beach to Terror story, I've been working with um, Soledad O'Brien on a matter of fact TV. Soledad used to work on the CNN Black in America series, and I have the opportunity to work with her as a production assistant, and I got hired on to produce and help tell these stories about Russell, a place of promise. Recently got married in 2018 to my beautiful wife, Tiana. We have a, a daughter named Oakland, and so I want to build a legacy with my stories, my community engagement, my work with the city of Louisville, and working in the community to get people connected resources and skills and knowledge, and to teach people what I've been learning over the years and what's been given to me, the people who've given back to me and taught me so many different things. You can do anything you want to do if you just have a goal in mind, work on something, a passion, and just stick with that passion.